Hi guys, this is Ane from Ancient Gallery, and welcome back to drawing in discovering dinosaurs. So today we are going to be drawing our um, V dinosaur, which I mistakenly um, skipped, and I did um, W yesterday. So today we are going to be um, drawing our V dinosaur, which is also a sauropod. Um, it is in fact the earliest sauropod, so uh, it's 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 going to be a bit different than usual. So Let's get started. So I have the eye here. I'll move it a bit more forward here. Our dinosaur today is called a volcanodon, which means volcanotooth. And um, it was called that because there were like these uh, um, knife like teeth found um, beside its skeleton, of which we uh, frustratingly do not have. Um, a head or a neck, uh, but fortunately we do have the heads and necks of other relatives, so uh, for, for now um, we are just uh, assuming that its head was like um, what I'm drawing here. So Volcanodon, um, uh, so uh, the knife-like teeth uh, were for long thought to be um, belonging to Volcanodon, which was actually not true um, because, uh, well, they were knife-like, they were very sharp, and they had serrated edges, which were all markings of um, theropods, which are carnivorous dinosaurs. And this confirmed the theory that early sauropods and, um, by extension, sauropod ancestors were all um, carnivorous, or at least omnivorous. But later, um, after, like, there were a lot more relatives um, discovered, and uh, the history of sauropods became uh, much more well-known, a uh, volcanodon was um, revealed to uh, be herbivorous, and now we know that the teeth probably were from a random scavenger who just happened uh, on the carcass and had a fine dinner. So this is kind of um, Volcanodon's basic body plan um, shape. Uh, it's very different from Ventom Titan, which um, we drew in our previous episode, uh, which was supposed to be the next, uh, but never mind. Um, uh, like, let's see here. So the first difference, um, so we started off the series with Brontosaurus again, I forgot to, to do A, and a Brontosaurus is a Diplodocid, uh, another branch of the sauropod family tree that was highly specialized in um, eating low, uh, like, plants that came up from the ground and were very low-hanging, such as um, ferns, uh, cycads, moss, stuff like that, um, small bushes. Uh, and titanosaurs and brachiosaurs, uh, to which uh, when Titan belonged, uh, were extremely giraffe-like and they were adapted for eating um, tall trees and such. Uh, but the earliest sauropods could, were not very specialized. They could probably eat um, like medium-sized trees, ferns, um, anything they could catch their hands on. And the omnivory theory was not really that far from the truth, because in fact many modern day herbivores, uh, like cows, um, deer, have been known to eat uh, small bird chicks and um, hatchlings to uh, supplement their diet, kind of like um, humans, you know. Uh, we take supplementary vitamins um, sometimes if we're not particularly feeling that good or if our diet isn't that good at all. So, Vol Volcanodon, um, I mentioned earlier that it is the earliest sauropod. Uh, well, 
It might not be the earliest, but it is the earliest that we know for sure is a sauropod and it's not um, some other thing. Because, uh, well, it lived in the early Jurassic and that's when uh, sauropods really um, came to be common. But there is some evidence that shows and uh, that shows that sauropods may have um, already been there in the Triassic period. Uh, which would make a uh, volcanodon uh, not the earliest rum pod. And the evidence for that is, um, well, let's see, if you, you have a, a few sauropods, um, one from Thailand, um, uh, one is, uh, the other one is called Antitonetris. Uh, I have very uh, inconveniently forgot their names, but they are there and we think they are sauropods. We're not, we're not sure yet. And, and they look a lot like sauropods, so... Perhaps, but we're still not sure if... Uh, where they fit into the gap between um, sauropods and sauropod ancestors, which are called prosauropods and include famous animals like Platysaurus, whom you will find in almost every dinosaur book. All right, uh, let's see here. All that aside, um, we really don't know that much about Volcanodon. Uh, its family, it was mostly restricted to the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, Volcanodon itself comes from Africa. Yeah, and um, its close relative, Barathosaurus, is from India. So yeah, a kind of a limited to around that region. However, one thing to note is that during this time, uh, all the continents were connected together in a big uh, supercontinent called Pangaea. So. Uh, what is today, Africa and India would have been very close together. And uh, most of these dinosaurs would have probably um, coexisted with each other. Alright. So, yeah, that's... Um, Basically, uh, all the facts that we have from um, Volcanodon. So, I'm just gonna kind of stop um, lecturing you guys and just focus on painting. Alright, so, yeah, basically, um, that's it for looking them. I mean, we still have got some painting to do, so we're just going to do that. Okay, we're going to do this kind of olive green stripe on the back. and stripes uh, across the legs. All right, so now I'm gonna take this kind of darker um, fern slash kind of military green and I'm gonna kind of make circles with it um, for patterning. Kind of like um, these random blobs. All right, 
and I'm going to do the same with arms and legs. All right, now. Okay, so there we go, and I'm just going to. Kind of do that on um, the head as well. All right. Um, time to add a few details. I'm gonna add uh, the nostril and the ear hole. Oh, they're probably barely noticeable, but they're still there. And in your finished painting, that is gonna look very nice. And I'm gonna add a few tufts of feathers here. Is now, it's likely that all dinosaurs had these feathers. I'll bite in various forms. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, try like a few quills on um, the back of the leg, on top of the head, and on the tail. Alright, so push this in a little bit so um, you can see. And I'm going to call it in the uh, nails or claws, I guess, uh, with this uh, black color pencil, uh, but I'm just going to uh, draw lightly, so it's going to go like a dirty um, gray. Next, I'm going to use this kind of brownish marker to give a bit of a brownish shade to the claws. Okay, now, um, let's see, finally, um, I'm gonna take out my, uh, nice strawberry red marker and color in the tongue and the mouth. Alright, perfect. Okay, then, that actually looks really good. Now, one last thing, and I think you know what it is. Shading. Um, again, I'm going to use the black color pencil and draw lightly for um, shading. So, this is actually a, a much better way than just using ray paint because it actually gives off like this rough texture that uh, looks like the shadows. Um, Basically, if you're um, drawing and coloring and if and you're not using paint, uh, unless of course it's a brush pen, um, uh, do always uh, bring a black colored pencil. So yeah, um, that's the final thing that we did. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one with, um, so we have V and a W. So, to, so we are going to draw our X dinosaur, uh, which means that I'm going to have a do, to do a little bit of research, because in, in my knowledge, I have never heard of a dinosaur that starts with X. So, bye!